Hi guys, welcome for another craft video. Um, today we have two crafts that we're going to be making and also an activity that's up on our website that you and your family can do together that goes with these crafts. So we're going to be making two things. We're making um, a pair of binoculars out of toilet paper rolls. So hopefully you have some toilet paper at your house. And then we're also going to be making a nature book uh, where you can put in drawings, um, pressed flowers, um, cool leaves that you find, you can glue those in there, you can do um, leaf rubs with a crayon, basically anything you want to collect in that book you can. And our theme for this week comes out of Psalm 104 and it says this, this is Psalm 104 verse 24 through 25, how many are your works Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. So basically what this psalm is, is doing is it's, it's worshiping and praising God because of all of the things that he has created. So it talks about how the earth is full of his creatures. So we look around the places, the place that we live, we can look outside, walk through parks, and everything that we see, God created. Even people that we see walking by in our neighborhood, God created them. How amazing is that? And then the person writing this psalm also says, look at the sea. It's vast and spacious. It's so big that when you go out to the ocean, you look, you can't even barely see across. Right? You might be able to see um, across the Long Island Sound and see Connecticut, but if you go out to like where it's like deep ocean, you can't even see across. It's just all water. It's that big. And it's teeming with creatures beyond number. There are so many fish and different kinds of ocean animals that are, that are there. That There's so many, you can't even count the number. And God made all of those. All living things, both large and small. So something that creation helps us to do when we look outside and see the things that God has created is we know that God is a creative God. So all these crafts that we've been making, God is the one who's creative and he has given us the ability to be creative, to make things and to have joy and have fun in doing that kind of stuff, right? God is the creator of the entire world and we can be led in worship to him we can praise him, we can just be in awe of who he is and how powerful he is as we see the beautiful things that are around us that he has made. So the crafts that we're going to be making are kind of going along those lines. And the for if you want to memorize the verse, you can memorize that whole verse if you want. It's Psalm 104, verse 24 through 25. But the part that I really want you to focus on is this little snippet in verse 24 says, how many are your works, Lord? So that'll help us to remember as we're walking around outside, as we're looking out the window and seeing people, that God has made everything, and he has made so many things that it just will help us to be in awe of him. So that is our theme. So let's get started on these graphs. So I'm going to start with the book that we're going to be making, the nature book. So... The materials that you'll need, you'll need, I have a paper bag. It's just a, like regular paper lunch bag that I'm gonna be using. You'll need some white paper or lined paper or whatever you wanna to use to fill it with. And then some scissors, a hole punch, some string or twine, and then some markers, crayons, color pencils, or paint to decorate it. Or what I did, um, and we actually have this um, up on our website as well, I printed out um, this little thing that I'm going to glue to the front of my book. So I'm also going to be using glue for this one. Um, and this thing that's on our website, it comes from a song, from a hymn, and it says, All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. So those are your materials. And to get started, I'm gonna start with the paper bag. So, and you can also use, you don't have to use a paper bag, you could use construction paper, you could use 
um, a cereal box if you cut it um, and make the two sides. Basically, you're just making the cover of your book with whatever you're using. So I'm gonna use a paper bag. So to start, I'm gonna fold my paper bag. Whoops, let me grab that. Here we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm gonna fold my paper bag in half to make a little book. And I'm gonna take my hole punch and I'm gonna punch two holes in mine. And you want them not super close to the edge because if they're too close to the edge, your book has a bigger chance of ripping. So now I've got my two holes. And we're gonna use this to tie the string in so that all of our pages stay together. So we have four holes when you open it up and two holes when it folds together. Next, you're gonna take a few sheets of white paper. So I'm gonna take three sheets. You're gonna fold those in half too. Or if you're using, see my book is pretty small. If you're using a bigger book, you just wanna fold them so that the pages fit in the book. So this will fit in my book pretty well. But if you notice, there's a lot of excess, right? So I'm going to actually cut this right down the middle, right in half. And it's going to double the amount of pages I have, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna have my two sides. I'm gonna actually put them inside of each other to make my book a little bit thicker. And then you're gonna slip it inside of your cover You're gonna take your hole punch and you're gonna punch two more holes exactly where the holes from your cover are. You may have to push them really hard. Wow, that was so close. That was a lot of thick paper. And then do it again on the other side. You might need some help from someone really strong for this one. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just push in those holes to make sure we have them. All right, then you're gonna take your string and you're gonna clip, cut two small pieces or if you have a bigger piece and you clipped more holes, you're gonna clip the number of holes that you have. I'm gonna put the string through and then I'm just gonna tie it. You can do a bow. I'm going to do a double knot just so it stays closed. And you do the same with the other piece of string. And then you have your book. And then it's up to you. See how mine's sticking out a little bit? I'm going to take my scissors and trim that so that I don't have the white part sticking out. your book. So it's not easy. So you got your cover and then you have all of these pages that you can draw things on, you can tape things into it, you can do um, take a leaf. If you want to do a leaf press, you take a leaf and you put it underneath and then you just color print over top so you can see the leaf on it. So lots of things you can do. And then from there all you do is decorate the cover. So for me I made it really easy for myself. I printed this cover out. So I'm just going to glue my cover, glue this picture onto my cover. And there is my finished book. So super easy, right? And then the rest of the craft part is just filling this book up with as many things as you can that you find on your walks outside. So that's the first craft, super easy. The second craft is also really easy. We're going to be making binoculars toilet paper binoculars. So for this, you're gonna need two empty rolls of toilet paper. So this may take you like a few weeks maybe to get the supplies ready for this. Um, I'm gonna use a rubber band to help me with this. So you don't have to use a rubber band, but a rubber band will help if you have it. Um, some tape. And 
then some scissors, some string. And then I have this um, thing that you can print out for the binoculars up on our website. And it just says, what can you see that God has made? And that's what I'm gonna use to attach this. But you can also just use plain construction paper or plain piece of paper or whatever you want to do. So, to get started, first, I'm gonna take my two rolls of toilet paper, put them together, line them up, and then this is what I'm using my rubber band for. I'm gonna take a rubber band and put it around them in the middle so that they are nice and lined up and together. So now, this is basically binoculars. And you could just stop there if you want, but we're gonna make this a little bit cooler, a little more permanent. So from there, you're gonna take your piece of tape, take a long piece of tape, and you're gonna tape on either side of that rubber band so that these binoculars stay together exactly the way that they are. So that's my first piece of tape. You wanna make sure that it's not squishing them too much. And then get your second piece of tape. And that you can actually take the rubber band off and save it for something else. So now you have your binoculars. So from there, you're going to take your piece of paper. If you printed this out, you can use this. Um, if you just have regular white paper, you can use that. Or construction paper, that's fine. You're going to fold it into three kind of even pieces. Basically, you want this paper to be about the size, about the, the thickness, the length of your toilet paper rolls. Okay? And then from there, you can decorate it. So if you have crayons, markers, you can also decorate this part with paint or crayons or markers. You can color your toilet paper rolls beforehand. I am not going to decorate mine right now. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. But I'm just gonna attach this. So once you've done that, you're going to take some glue and glue the opposite side, put lots of glue on that, not the side that's going to be showing. So now I have my binoculars, and on the very top of it, it says, what can you see that God has made? To help remind me that every time I look through this, I'm looking at something that God has made. Isn't that cool? All right, so next, you can take, if you want, you can take a hole punch again. I'm gonna take scissors, because I don't wanna make such a big hole. You can also use a pencil or a pen. And you're going to want to help with this if you're using scissors because it could, could be kind of dangerous. You're going to put two holes in for string that we're going to use as like a, as a strap to wear. So you're going to put, you have your binoculars like this, you're going to put one on this side and one on this side. So again, be very, very, very careful. So that it almost looks upside down. 
because when it's hanging, when you bring it up, you'll be able to see what the words say. So from there, you're going to take a piece of string, a pretty long piece of string. my glue. Cut it. And you're going to tie that string. You're going to push it through each hole. And tie it. Once you've done the first one, then at that point you can measure and see about how long you want it. So actually, I cut the string perfectly. Not too long and not too short. And then you push the other end through. And tie that one. And now you have a pair of binoculars. You can actually wear when you go out on your walks and look to see the different things that God has made. Pretty awesome, right? All right, so the other thing that we have, the activity we have that goes with this is up on our website in the same places where you find the different things to print out, um, we have a few different outdoor scavenger hunts that you can do with your family. So there's one for if you're walking through your neighborhood, there's one if you're walking out in a park, um, and there's a few, few different uh, levels and different difficulties that you can find there. You can print those scavenger hunts out and then actually go out on a scavenger hunt to see how many of the things God has made that you can see. So I hope you guys enjoy this craft. It's a super easy one, but enjoy on some of these nice days we have this week getting out and being able to see and recognize and worship God for the things that he has made. See you guys next time.